Too late. You left five minutes ago. I did everything I could, bar handcuffing to the radiator. I wanted you. Mm. Where were you anyway? Ask your boyfriend. What? Steve locked me in the back of the van and Kirk drove me halfway to Clitheroe. No. Yes. No. Steve wouldn't do something like that. He knows how important this is. Defend him till the cows come home. I know what happened. Yes, and I know Steve. Where's Kirk? In the gents throwing up. He got car sick on the way home. How mad was Sid? Fuming. Yeah, well, he's not the only one. Right, just give me ten minutes to calm down. I'll get on the phone and start groveling. We need that order. You barely eaten anything. I work at a kebab shop. Next time, don't make so much. I'll see you in the morning. Play nice. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Seem a bit quiet. That's all. Yeah, sorry. I had a complete disaster at work today. Really? Yeah. Our big important meeting went pear-shaped. Rob missed it completely and I ended up looking like a total fool. And then, Rob tried to blame you for the whole thing. Like, you'd do something as stupid as lock him in the van. Look. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe it. What? It was you. What was? You locked Rob in the van. Oh, Steve, how could you? It was, uh, it was a joke. It was a joke? We lost a crucial order today because of you, and that's a joke. No. I locked like a total idiot. Is that a joke? No. I mean, my job, maybe that's a big joke to you. No. Do you know what? Carla relies on me and Rob to keep that place going. People's jobs depend on us. We're busting a gut every single day over there, and you seem to think it's just one big funny joke. You don't know what Rob's like. Oh, he's trying to do his job, like I am. And all you're doing is acting like a spoilt, selfish little child. Oh, look, you've been back five minutes and you're taking his side. This is what he wants. When are you going to grow up? There's no point talking to you. No, well, there's not much point talking to you either. Where are you going? Like you care. Oh, Steve. Look, you want Rob, you can have him. <laughs> 